Africa who have excelled in a foreign land. I wish you, those of you who have gotten our newsletter, and we've gotten several comments about the youthful lifestyle of this young man, full of dynamism. You know, I'm just looking at him in our, in our website because uh, that photo is very charming. People have been commenting on it. You, as you can agree with me, this is, a, this is a young man that is full of dynamism. But also humble, also full of talent. So we are about to profile him as a pace setter to encourage other African children who are in the diaspora to know that no matter where you are, no matter where life has carried you to, you can make it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm presenting to you this morning someone who is the director of Global Dance Center. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about him. Some of our listeners may not know this talent, but Nicholas Shaker has become more or less a phenomenon of his time. Today, singer Nicholas, yeah. <laughs> better known as Shaker, is a dancer, choreographer, entertainer, and also an entrepreneur. A few years ago, he started performing as background dancer, and now he owns the largest dance school in Amsterdam called Global Dance Center. After a turbulent childhood in Liberia, West Africa, Nicholas moved to Amsterdam in his fourth year. He was the eldest son of a single mother and grew up at a young age, becoming accustomed to taking responsibility. Nicholas had a big dream, that is to be a dancer. He started at the age of 11 with ballroom dancing, but that was not quite his turn. So he is here today. I mean, he is here today as an African gem to tell us how he has come so far. Welcome, Nicholas, to Radio Voice of Magic. Welcome, uh, welcome. First of all, I want to wish everybody a happy new year in 2012. May all your uh, best wishes come true. May y'all be blessed in 2012. My name is Nicholas Shaker. I'm 26 years old. Um, uh, I'm a young choreographer, dancer. Um, and um, um, the proud owner of the of, of the the largest um, uh, hip hop street dancing studio uh, in Amsterdam. So again, I'm happy to be here today at the Voice of Niger. <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas. So may I know is your name as well singer? Yeah, my, my, my last name is Singer. My mom's last name is Singer, so oh, okay. <laughs> that's my last name. Yeah, oh, it's okay. kind of funny, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how did you get Shaker too? Is it just because you shake the body? <laughs> <laughs> that's how the old myth goes. Um, yes, I, I started dancing and in, back in that time everybody had like a nickname. You had several names and I was like, because I was always uncontrolled and wild and I just loved dancing and really? shaking everything that I, every part of my body. So <laughs> I started calling myself Shaker and now I think uh, in whole, uh, across Netherlands and Belgium and all over the world, people kind of know who I am and yes. they know my name. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's sketchy, it, it works. Wow. So, um, Shaker, can you tell us, uh, tell our listeners briefly about yourself? family and early educational background yeah of course I, I will try to keep that one uh, yeah uh, I will try really brief yeah. um, I'm a Liberian yeah uh, born and raised in Monrovia uh, I, I am the oldest child of a single like you said I'm from a single mother yeah. uh, four four children at home I got two beautiful little sisters one handsome little brother okay. um, and I Love dancing. That's I think my in uh, 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 brief my my background, and that's what I do. As being the oldest brother of my uh, my 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 family. So your siblings do they also dance? 
My youngest uh, sister, who is now I, 12, 13 years old, I'm always mistaken, she gets mad from that, but she dances as well, and the other people are just into school and doing really good. Yeah, man, that's wonderful. Yeah. So how did you grow up to become a dancer? Is it, uh, is it a hereditary something from maybe your mother? Yeah, my mom, when she got over here, um, in, in, in her younger years, she, she had like an African dance studio. It, it wasn't really a studio, it was just a place where she used to teach African dancing okay and I never went to that place actually but I, I always saw her as a lively person that always loved dancing and I mean we can all relate to that back in the days in Africa and it still is in Africa community you have to go to school you can't be a dancer and you can you can we think that you can make a living out of dancing because it's a riskful job yeah and also I had to believe it because mm -hmm. my mom said yeah I dance your your grandma dances your your father loves dancing but Education is more important, but I, 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 I thought different, and I thought that dancing was going to save my life, and that's wow. everything I love doing. And so I think I inherited from my mom. She's a beautiful young dancer. Well, <laughs> somebody out there listening to us, this is Radio Voice of Niger, bringing a peseta, Nicholas Sheka, the director of Global Dancing School here in Amsterdam. And if you are a single mother and you are thinking there's no way for your child, I mean, the testimony of this young man is supposed to encourage you. So you may call the studio line on 027-371-619 and get inspiration. Ask Sheka any question you feel like asking regarding to how to develop maybe the talent in your baby boy or baby girl. Okay, now, how long ago and why did you choose to come to the Netherlands and not America? Uh, I, I, it wasn't really a choice. My mom came here as a, as an as an au pair for a, a, a Belgian family, okay. and during the war time, yeah. and uh, I think she had the privilege and was blessed to bring me over at the age of I gotta be careful with that. Six years old, I came here, okay. and uh, I I lived in Amsterdam uh, since then. Mm -hmm. um, so from that point, I just. I, my mom always say Michael Jackson inspired me. All the other big artists they inspired me, but Michael Jackson was the man that really had me going. And okay. Wow. I came here. My, my mom brought me over here at the age of six years old. Okay. Really. So, how did your background shape you into what you are today? And who do you owe the credit for all the success? You said Michael Jackson. But I always say I always say my mother and my grandma because I was raised by my grandma. And um, all these all these things that I've been learned, I think it's just it's just it, the encouragement from my mom. She always said, children have to do activities. Still, children have to go do a sport. Mm -hmm. Don't let them stay home. Don't let them go on the street because it's all attractive. Mm -hmm. um, the streets, I think, they offer good things and they offer bad things as well. And my my mom always told me, go do something that you love. And when I found it out that dancing was the thing I loved doing, she encouraged me from day one. Mm -hmm. To this day on, she goes with me to every performance what I do. I show her my videos of wow. performance I do. Wow. And she's my big inspiration and my love. Wow, wow, wow. This is awesome. I think you have really made your mother proud. <laughs> yeah. I, I have given her a lot of headache, but I have make. I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm working every day to keep on making her proud. Do you believe in something? Because you've been talking about mother, talking and talking about blessing. Do you believe in something or you don't believe? I, of course, I'm, I, 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 of course, I believe, I believe, I believe there's a God and there's someone who's guiding me up from above, uh, but I just, I really believe in my mom's physical strength, her being there for us. Amen, wow. So, for those who take dancing lessons, is it an exercise or just pure fun? For me, dancing Because has the other time I came around to dancing, you know, I was so carried away the way you were shaking and uh, and then I had to ask your secretary and then I came to I came to learn that it's not just only a, song, a, a phone it's also an exercise it's a way of somebody uh, controlling his or her weight and then you are using that to shape the, 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 the figures of those uh, uh, young uh, youths who are, who are dancing is that yeah dancing is not I, I, I don't take it as, a, as something that I just do I think dancing is a lifestyle and most of important, I say dancing is the way to express your feelings. If, if, if there are some times when I'm at home, I don't feel good, or if I feel a little bit upset or down, 
I just put on some music and I think everybody can relate to that. I think all we Africans can relate to that and people around the world, if we go to a party, what do we do? If we go to a wedding, what do we do? When we go to a, 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 any forms of celebration mm -hmm. and when we have something to celebrate and, joy, and rejoice for in life, even in church, what do we do? We stand up and dance. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been from a, across the years, starting from 1800, 1700, I think people were dancing mm -hmm. Uh, for a way, in a way to express their feelings and that's what we're doing now in this modern day, to, mm -hmm. day. If, if it's street dance for kids these kids come from school they do their homework they work hard and they come to my studio mm -hmm. to have fun and to dance on their favorite artists so wow. dancing is for me mm -hmm. dancing is not just something you do for fun of mm -hmm. course it's fun mm -hmm. but for, for us dancers it's a lifestyle it's a, lifestyle. It's a way of moving wow 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 so tell us about your dancing school and, and how did it all start and who motivated to help you? Uh, again, yo, I think I'm, I'm, I'm bragging, but my mom really inspired me in, in always, I mean, she was always ha talking about helping me being, achieving my goals. And one of my goals was hopefully being successful in anything one day. I could be a good uh, a gar garbage man as well. My mom would still, still support me. But I had this thing for having an own studio, so I tried out for, at first in a little gym studio mm -hmm. with some friends, and yeah. people it, it really hit people, and people liked coming to our classes, and it was in a really old gym. Yeah. But we had to go out of that place because it was getting broken down, and I kept searching uh, for for a place that uh, uh, where I could host the dance studio. Yeah. And that was a rough path because I, I I am still young, and back then I was really young. I think it was like. In 2004. Are you married? No, I'm not. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom always says uh, women are a, a whole lot of headache. I do have a beautiful girlfriend uh, yeah. for over eight years now with her. I met her when she was 12 years old, so we have a long, long, long uh, history. But my mom always said, don't marry yet. It's going to make you gray at, at, at a soon age. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so, yes, indeed. I, 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 just, I, I just kept searching for a place, and I was convincing people that if you let me in, if you let my studio in, you will have a, a company what will bring a lot of people that love to do some one thing positive, mm -hmm. and that is keeping their body in shape. Uh, via dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had this one uh, 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 real estate company who did believe in me and they said, I love your story. We need to help a young man like that. Yes. We are giving you a place in our in our building. It contains room for a lot of studio spaces. And my mom even helped me financially back then yeah. to establish a studio. So again, I just say, if you get so much support from your family yeah. and I keep on encouraging parents that come to my studio. Yes. Anything your child chooses for, if it's positive, please, parents uh, 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 who are listening to me now, yes. keep on encouraging the the, the, the children because if they got your love, mm -hmm. they will. We will. We, we will strive to be something good. And yeah. the only thing we need is love and support. Yeah. So somebody out there listening to us, you can call us on zero twenty seven three seven one six one nine. We are in the studio interviewing somebody we consider as a peseta for other African dynamic youths. So uh, you do not need to condemn your child if your child is not maybe uh, so much academically oriented. Maybe that child is gifted in other ways. So try to know the areas your children are talented in and push them ahead. And God being on your side, you will, I mean, turn that child to become a gem. Hallelujah. So, uh, I want to know, how did you hit the spotlight? Like, <laughs> like being in, so you think you can dance and all that. So, I, I think you've been there. Yeah, so, yeah. So you think you can dance. Yes, of course. <laughs> I, I've, I've, been, I've been one of the choreographers of So You Think You Can Dance. I also had the honor to work on The Voice of Holland. These are, I mean, like major projects. I mean, with major budgets and major... Uh, 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 um, well-known Dutch people mm -hmm. and I the thing is the whole funny thing is that one of my friends who is I mean the head of choreographer in these programs he knew my he knew that I was uh, into dancing and knew I used to I, I, I am known for choreographing I think parts that touch people and he gave me a chance he brought me to the network producers and he was like this kid is 21 years old uh, he's a brilliant choreographer give him a chance 
and that's my first chance I got uh, to choreograph to I make think, that this dance. I think, I think for the benefit of our listeners, could you please tell us what the duty of a choreographer is? Uh, yeah, of course, a choreographer. That I think it's a really int- it's it's a difficult word, in which you, we should uh, uh, at times we should change it. A, a choreographer. He, um, <laughs> he 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 makes up dances and he sets it's he makes like a whole story around the music. He's not even I mean a choreographer is also staging, knowing where the artist is gonna stand, making making where the dancers are gonna stand, just making a whole story on stage, the whole performance from starting from A to Z complete. Oh. And he and 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 and. Therefore, one of the most important things that he makes the court, the dance of the performance. So I think it's the whole picture. That's what a, a whole performance picture. That's the task of a choreographer to make that look good. Wow. So, uh, because of our time, uh, what do you have to tell somebody who have listened to us? You know, uh, uh, who have heard your voice. Uh, what do you have to tell somebody who is downcast out there? Who is like not figuring out where he or she is supposed to be in life? What do you have to say to you, youths like you? That's such a hard question. At first, I always say if you love something, if that is sewing, if that is reading, if that is dancing, if that is singing, because I know a lot of African children and Suriname children, all the children around the world love to sing. Yes. They love to perform. That's the thing that keeps on keeps them going. Find yourself. Go on the internet. We got Google. Yeah. Go type something. It's not like back in the days where we didn't have internet and all yes. access to all the web wide world. Yeah. Go online and just find that place that you can go to. You got you got even youth centers yeah. that offer free singing classes and whatsoever. And for me, if if it comes to dancing, if you're a passionate dancer listening to me now. Yes. Uh, as you said, Global Dance Center, we are located in, uh, in Amsterdam Southeast, mm-hmm. across the Am- uh, Arena, Boulev- Arena Boulevard and, and, and the Amsterdam Support. Um, we offer classes starting from kids from four years old up to, I don't care how old of you uh, you are, if you love dancing, come to our studio, Global Dance Center, that's www.gdcamsterdam.nl. I repeat, www.gdcamsterdam.nl. My thing is just, Keep going in life and stay positive. And if you want to achieve something, just go for it and use all the helps around you, family, uncles, friends, to bring you there and love of God. Well, that is very, very interesting. And maybe because of uh, the fastness of a uh, of, uh, shaker, uh, you didn't hear him clearly. In case you want to get in touch uh, with uh, with uh, Global Dance, you can also call Radio Voice of Niger at 06... Uh, 8460655 and we can give you uh, every data that he has just left behind here. Do you understand? Or maybe you feel that you are not so used to him, but you can still give us a call and then we will give the data, their website and their telephone number and email address to you for your child. I think it is good for every youth and not only the youth but also for adults who would like to lose weight. <laughs> so, uh, Shaker, just yeah. one second. Tell us, what are you going to do? Uh, uh, how are you going to give back to Africa? Wow! Yeah, I I, I did promise myself this uh, this uh, 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 this in two thousand. So me, and my mom toasted uh, on a, in a new year, and I am going to go back to uh, Africa. My mom, me, and my mom we own a, a foundation. It's called Liberian Global Foundation. Yes. What we do support, uh, we try to help people establish their own food um, and uh, help them. We build like a, also a, a teaching, a, a, like a school in, 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 in Africa where this, where these kids go to school. Mm-hmm. So I am already giving back to, because it was a company my mom established and I'm helping there. But I, like Global Dance Center say, says, it's worldwide and my big dream is one day I can establish a Global Dance Center in my own uh, town that I was born in. Wow, that is so good. Well, we just want you to know that we love you and we you. appreciate the fact that you took time to I come mean, to Radio Voice of Niger. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Shika. Yeah. God bless everybody and a happy new year. Same to you. Bye-bye.